Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I appreciate that. So, I mean, overnight, Hurricane Maria has strengthened and grown um, to a major uh, Category 3 hurricane. It says Hurricane Maria grows to Category 3. Major hurricane promises to be catastrophic. So I wanted to try and give an update on its path or whatnot since it's, it's literally intensified uh, a great deal just overnight. Um, it does go on to say that warnings and watches lit up across the Caribbean on Monday as Hurricane Maria gained strength and ra roared towards the islands already hobbled by the carnage of Hurricane Irma. Maria, which grew to a Category 3 hurricane Monday uh, morning, had a maximized sustained winds of 120 miles per hour at 11 a.m., so basically about 40 minutes ago. Um, it is uh, still too early to determine whether the storm will impact the U.S. East Coast, and any threat uh, would not be until next week, but a strike on Florida is still a possibility, so that would definitely, definitely not be good um, for us. Uh, we may luck out and it turns north before reaching Florida, AccuWeather Meteorologist uh, Dave Samuel said. Unfortunately, it looks like blocking high pressure could force it into Florida. Definitely something we are watching. The center of Marie, uh, Maria will uh, move across the Leeward Islands late Monday and then slam through the extreme northeastern Caribbean Sea on Tuesday, the National Hurricane Center in Miami said. Additional rapid strengthening is forecast during the next 48 hours, Hurricane Center said. By later Tuesday, Maria should have winds of 155, 150 mile an hour, sorry, making it a Category 4 hurricane. And over here you can see the path, Hurricane Maria. It's kind of showing that, you know, right now it's kind of predicting it's not even going to head over towards Florida, but there's also predictions that say it could. So, we're, like I said, we're going to have to wait. It's just going to be about a week out before we truly know, but it says this storm promises to be catastrophic for our island, said uh, Morales of the National Weather Service in San Juan. All of Puerto Rico will experience hurricane force winds. But, the first, but first, the U.S. Virgin Islands likely will face at least a glancing blow if not a full-on landfall late Tuesday or early Wednesday, said David Samuel, senior meteorologist with, Accu with AccuWeather. On St. John's, the smallest of the U.S. Virgin Islands, people lined up to flee the storm. Irma blasted across the island September 7th, a Category 5 storm with sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. Homes and businesses were blown apart, and power is expected to be out for months. Puerto Rico, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic could see uh, Maria's wrath on Wednesday. Puerto Rico President um, Rossello said the government has prepared hundreds of shelters capable of housing more than 100,000 evacuees if necessary. A potential impact on the East Coast will depend on steering currents in the upper atmosphere over the western Atlantic and eastern U.S. that can be determined more than a week in advance, according to the Weather Channel. Now, uh, just a brief uh, update here on Jose as it threatens the East Coast. It's saying right now it's staying at 75 miles per hour, and it is continuing to br bring rip currents and rip rough surf to the U.S. coast over, for over the next several days. So you be on the watch out for that, even if it just glances. And it says it could drop about 3 to 5 in inches around the New England, uh, Mid-Atlantic area. So we're probably going to get a little bit of rain. Um, some winds, but for the most part, the dangers with Jose to the U.S. right now is the rip currents and the rough surf. So be sure to stay tuned to those warnings, um, and don't go out in the water. Um, if, if you know, when in doubt, don't go out. Right? That's what they say. Now, Hurricane Maria, we need the the reason, that, uh, the major reason I wanted to share this because we need to watch this storm. It's already going to hit the Leeward Islands and possibly you know, Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic and all them areas that have already been devastated by Irma are going to get devastated again by at least a Category 4, almost a Category 5 storm. Um, and, and, and in one, like if you look at this prediction here, it's, it's showing it turning away from the, the East Coast or whatnot. But as we just read, there's also a possibility it could be drug into Florida still. So we need to watch this over the next week. I'll keep you updated for sure because if this starts heading towards Florida yet again, I mean, you know, it's just, yeah, they don't need this right now. You know, no, in the U.S., we don't need another storm like this. You know, it is hurricane season and they're, they're coming.
But yeah, they're coming at us every which way, from the East Coast, the West Coast, from the Gulf of Mexico. We got wildfires burning all across the West that we're not even talking about. So the country's on fire under, you know, the coast are getting drenched in rain or underwater in some most part, a lot of parts. Um, it's just a crazy time to be living in right now. So, you know, be safe out there. My thoughts and prayers go out to every single person affected by these storms that, that have gone on this year and the, the storms that are coming and still forming. So we got to keep an eye out on this. But um, I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for the support on the channel and watching these videos. So continue to share these videos. Um, comment down below. Like these videos. Um, you know, and also... Uh, you know, I just I just appreciate every single one of you. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.